Hello everyone, I'm Bet Gold and I'm so excited that you're joining me today. I actually have for you some really great new products. These are by Rena K. If you're not familiar with Rena K, she is the daughter of Gina K. And the cardstock that I'm using today in this demo is by Gina K. But she has, Rena K has out some really great fun new products. And they are the Electropop Neon Ink Line and then some glitter that I'm going to be using today. For this project, I'm going to be using the Raging Red and the Orange Glow, as well as the Layering Stencils by Alt and New. So what you want to do first is you want to prep your stencils. And what I mean by that is you want to use either a stencil spray or you want to use some purple tape to tape the stencils down. I like to use some spray and I was kind of thinking that maybe these are still sticky but they're really not. So I'm just going to take out my splat box, go over that a little bit with that one, set it aside. This one will be the next one that I want to use. Set it aside and we can move forward from there. All right, so for this project again, I'm using some Gina K premium cardstock and then I'm just going to use the Alt New. This is the first stencil. I'm going to lay it down like so. And I'm going to just use the ink on this one. So I'm going to take some neon orange and some raging red as well as my blending brushes. You guys, I got my blending brushes off of Amazon. I know I'm horrible, but I need to get the real ones. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to kind of make my flowers red. So I'm going to go in with the Raging Red, and I'm just going to start to layer out that color into the flowers. And then we're going to go through with the orange glow and fill in the other the rest of it and the more color you add the more intense your color your color is going to be I just love this ink I'm all about vibrant and bright and colorful and um, Irina just hit it out of the park with this really really beautiful Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my orange glow. And I'm just going to hit those spots. And I'm just going to blend it through as well into some of that beautiful red. And then the next layer is going to be beautiful glitter. I can't wait. I love these glitter colors. I think they're lovely. And I'll show you a couple samples of some other projects that I've done with this beautiful ink and glitter. This is so fun. There we go. Okay. I think I like that. So from here, I'm just going to take this off and my first layer is totally done. Look how pretty that is. I mean, you could totally just leave that alone and be happy with it, right? All right, so I'm going to grab my other stencil and I'm just going to place it on top of this, but I want to wipe up my craft mat real briefly just because I have some ink down and I don't necessarily want it to transfer into my glitter. So there we go. All right, so for this, just going to lay this over. Once I get it lined up to my liking, there we go. And now I'm going to take some green glitter. just going to layer it on. 
For the glitter, I like to utilize stencils that are not totally fine detailed. Like this is pretty fine, but I like to utilize a stencil that has a little bit, it's not totally fine lined because depending on how big your glitter chunk is can determine on how well it lays. But this is a nice stencil for this, I think. And I'm just layering it out, making sure I have all my nooks and crannies all colored in there. All right, and then I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to clean that off and try to save as much of that as I can. And then look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that lovely? So I need to set this aside, obviously, and let it dry, but that is one way that you can use this stencil glitter is with your, or excuse me, this glitter gel is with your stencils, your layering stencils especially. It just adds a bunch of just beautiful texture and shine to it and contrast. So let me set this aside to dry. And then I'm just going to take as much as this glitter up as I can and put it back into my jar. And then I'm gonna get a lot of it off of my craft mat as well. And I think that seeing the cleanup is important because a lot of people get scared of mixed media or wet mediums because it can get messy. But really, if you try to save the majority of your product, it's not really that messy. You'll have a little bit of a mess, but it's not horrible. All right, so let me go ahead and just take my cleaner again, and I'm just going to clean everything down like so. And then I'm going to show you the samples of what I created, some other samples I created with this gorgeous glitter gel. I love it. So fantastic. And you do want to make sure that you get your, your stencil clean because it does dry permanent. So you will ruin your stencil if you let it dry on. All right. All right. I'm going to set that aside and let me pull out my samples for you. So this was the color combo red, raging red. And then I used this beautiful orange the orange glow on this to create this lovely card. And for the title, I just used some black cardstock for the back piece and the detail piece. The yellow is the neon ink that I just slid over some cardstock and just cut it out. And then the other card, I created a rainbow effect utilizing all of the ink colors that I have, which include the blaring blue, which is there the Raging Red, which is there, the Orange Glow, which is right here, and then the Neon Yellow, the um, Hello Yellow, which is down here. And then for this, I basically created my own color cardstock by running this ink pad, Blaring Blue, over a piece of white cardstock. It was the Gina K Premium cardstock black card stock for that center piece then for the top detail piece same technique utilizing the orange glow i certainly hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did also feel free to leave me any questions or comments in the section down below um also i love it if you guys would share it and then oh i forgot to show you the inside i basically inked the edges with neon yellow and then stamped the sentiment in blaring blue and just stamped in blaring blue anyway i digress Make sure you check out my affiliate links down below. Um, those are no additional cost to you, but they do help me fund my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I certainly hope you do so. Until next time, I'm Bets Golden. Happy crafting.